Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here. And once again, it is time for a glute hamstring and forearm day. Uh, so we started the day off with conventional deadlifts. Um, these went pretty good. I'm getting used to using this stiff bar again. Again, it's been a little harder on grip, but my grip is finally improving. Um, the grip work, the forearm work, all of that's helping. That was my warm up set. Um, I know a lot of people freak out on my deadlift warm ups, but I don't think they realize that the last meet I did, I didn't bother to warm up. I just opened with, with 508 pounds and then went up to like 570 or something for my next pull. Um, that was my second rep of the day. So, and again, I was peaked though at the time. But uh, yeah, went pretty good today, 5.15 for four. Um, Could have got a fifth, uh, didn't want to grind it out. Overall happy with it though because grip held really well. So again, the forearm training, the grip training is helping. I've got to get my grip back up to where it used to be to where I could just hold 600 plus at the top for a couple seconds and talk. Um, but again, slowly but surely, and I actually added a little extra forearm work today. I want to really, really, as I continue to get leaner, um, I really want to get those forearms thicker. I feel like that could be useful overall. Obviously, we work everything. I'm putting a lot of focus on things like tricep, long head, you know, biceps and stuff in general. But, you know, again, for me, historically, arms have uh, been my weakest link. So I feel like I really want to maximize every single muscle in my arms. So, you know, forearm flexors and extensors, you know, along with triceps, particularly getting that long head up, biceps, brachialis. Um, so again, when I'm doing the forearm stuff today, I want to hammer down on that. Um, so some stuff I did here today, as I've kind of said, I'm only going to just do one top set of deadlifts. Uh, I, I think I respond really well to that. I always have. And I'm going to really push that to uh, those other movements super hard. I pushed the uh, reverse hyper back up heavier and we're going to work with that. But what I did for all the other posterior chain work, I just superset it for arms between it. So this was a really fast workout. Uh, you know, this, this workout was done in you know, like 40 minutes, you know, about 40 minutes tops. Uh, and we were finished. So uh, again, I haven't been able to increase on these reverse wrist curls for a couple weeks. Um, they're pretty well, I think, where they're going to be for a bit. I'm just going to push them. And if I can squeeze more reps, I'll add weight. But, um, yeah, they've just been tough. Um, so, again, on, on these uh, glute ham raises, I decided let's just use the glute ham raise form that really got my, my deadlift super high. Right? It got me to like to the 635 before. So, it means just do this. Um, I'm not even going to worry so much about trying to stretch all the way at the bottom and, and get the full hip hinge. Just doesn't matter because I'm deadlifting to reverse hypers. Um, I really just want that hamstring to be super strong at that point where we, we pull off the deadlift, we break it off the floor. And that will keep my hamstrings big and thick. Um, never had an issue with, with hamstring size. Uh, it's always gone well for me, it goes easy for me. Um, so again, I do need to get them thicker again because I'm high bar squatting um, and I feel like not just aesthetically, but then strength wise. Uh, and people say, why are we talking about strength without your bodybuilding? But I'm power building, so keep that in mind. Um, I do want my squat bench and deadlift to be strong, right? And some of my lower body training, uh, particularly we can think about how does it pertain to the deadlift? Because I'm gonna have jack legs, right? I'm not going to have jack legs no matter what. And as I get leaner, they just look more and more jack later anyways. Uh, but my, my training is, is actually more biased towards upper body. Like, notice we're, we're doing six sets for forearms on my posterior chain day. Uh, but yeah, the, these went well. Uh, so again, with the glute ham raise, just kind of stick with this, this technique for a bit because I feel I get a lot out of it. And, and I quite frankly don't really care what anyone else thinks. Um, I've deadlifted 635 using this as a staple. The same thing on my reverse hypers. Um, I'm gonna go heavier on them again. I was running really light, but quite frankly, um, as much as I, I appreciate the really light, and we'll get to that in a minute. I appreciate the really light from a prehab perspective. It just doesn't get me strong. It doesn't get me strong, All right? And yes, obviously, I still have loose skin around the waistline there. It's going to continue to tighten up. It's got to keep getting leaner, get leaner, get leaner. And that's what most people will tell you. You know, I've, I've seen trainers and coaches over the decades point that out. You know, when the, that comes up, they're like, if you get lean enough, it does get tight. But, you know, sometimes you have to get down to like 8% body fat. So we're just going to keep cutting. Um, it's going to be what it's going to be. Uh, and I started using yesterday like some vitamin E on it before bed. Um, see if that helps again. I forgot I used to do that for a while. But the 
forearms are definitely coming along. They're definitely on point. Thought I would just kind of put them up there for you guys. Um, notice there too that the delts, as I'm, as I'm slowly getting leaner, the delts are starting to look a little more round. So that's always a perk. All right, reverse hypers, uh, we went up. I took it all the way from just using 110 all the way up to 420 again. Did like three sets of 12 with it. Uh, and I may build on that because if I'm going to use those red plates, it's all I can fit on there. I don't want to use up all my blue calibrated places. I've got to load them and unload them. I need them to deadlift. I need them to squat. I only have 14 of those. Right? We only have, we only have so many of them to work with. I know only 14. But the red plates, I don't need so much. I need maybe one pair out. So again, we put that on and just kind of rep it. Um, so again, I decided to do uh, reverse wrist curls, right? So really, I guess we'll call them wrist extensions. It's really what they would be, wrist extensions. Um, again, I want to get that top of the forearm uh, up there to pop a little bit. Plus, that affects my grip a lot. That's oftentimes a weak link for me and my grip, right? So I really want to get that thicker, stronger. I want it to pop a little bit more, especially from the front. Because uh, I feel like my flexors are, are bigger and stronger than my extensors. And so again, we're going to talk about aesthetics and I know everyone's like dude that area of your forearm is ripped and you get those big veins even when you're chatting on camera and, and that's fine but uh, we need to keep improving everything so anything I can do to add any muscle anywhere on my arms needs to be explored um, just need my arms bigger and as I get leaner that's really what's going to make or break me I think at this point waistline smaller trim another four inches off that waist three four inches off the waist get another inch on my arms you know be in a good place um, yeah so again, did three sets of these to failure, which was about 12 reps. Um, so most of my stuff was really 10 to 12 today. I mean, other than that one set of deadlifts for four, uh, which again, left a rep in the tank. But yeah, you guys can see they're definitely thicker. Like I said, I'd like the waist tighter, but um, we're getting there. Fasted cardio, clean diet. Let's keep going, keep going, keep going. Compared to how I used to look, uh, big improvement. But again, keep improving all the time it's going to be the name of the game right keep improving all the time show continual progress uh doesn't matter that i'm turning 48 at 50 i'm going to look better at 50 than i do now that's going to be a goal right but again the reverse hypers these felt really good like i feel like i get a lot more glute i might like when i go heavy on these my glutes light up uh so again more glute only going to be a good thing uh, but overall, pretty happy with today's workout. I felt like it went really well. Uh, can't be more pleased with it. So I hope it's been informative. And I'll talk to you guys and gals next time.